consider a metal rod of mass m and l be its length let this be an axis y dash y passing through the center of the road and is perpendicular to its length so the distance from the left end to this axis will be l by 2 and this this length is also l by 2 l by 2 let o be the center of the road we want to find the moment of inertia of this road about the axis y y dash or about the axis passing perpendicular to its length and through its center suppose the road is rotating about this axis let the road is having uniform density or uniform mass per unit length therefore mass per unit length of the road mass per unit length of the rod will be total mass of the rod divided by L. Let there be a small mass at a distance. Let this be a small mass at a distance x units from the axis and let the thickness of this small mass be dx. Let the thickness be dx. Then we have the mass of that small part mass of that small part of the rod the mass of that small part of thickness or not thickness of length length dx part of the rod is equal to which means the mass of this part will be we have mass per unit length mass per unit length that is m by l into length of that part which is dx clear so the mass of this small part will be mass per unit length we know the mass will always be mass is equal to mass per unit length mass per unit length into length mass of any part will be mass per unit length into length we just used that formula in here so the mass of that small part will be m by l m by l into dx clear let's call this small mass dm that is dm is equal to m by l dx let's call let's take that as equation number one we have the moment of inertia of this small part about this axis will be let's call that di the moment of inertia of this small part about this axis di is equal to mass of that small part into distance square the distance of that mass from the axis is x so x square so in order to get the total moment of inertia i you must integrate this one that is dm x square also you have to put the limit that is let's let's substitute m by l dx for dm that is m by l dx into x square or this can be written as integral m by l x square dx Clear. now the variable is dx so in order to find the total moment of inertia of this road we have to integrate from the left extreme left end to the extreme left, right end see if you take this as x the x coordinates this x will be minus l by 2 here x is equal to 0 which means the, the at this uh, al along this axis x is equal to x coordinates is 0 and at the right extreme right end x is equal to l by 2 so that that's how you mark the coordinates so in order to get the total length of the road you must integrate it from minus l by 2 to l by 2 
clear so the limit is minus l by 2 to l by 2 you have to put all the limits you have to put the limits in all these the all these equations clear minus l by 2 to l by 2 m by l dx l or m by l x square dx now you you must integrate this equation that is moment of total moment of inertia about the axis will be this mass and l remains constant you can take that out of the integral sign that is m by l minus l by 2 to l by 2 x square dx this is equal to m by l integral of x square is equal to x cube by 3 now you have to put the upper limit and lower limit so mo moment of inertia i is equal to m by l first you have to substitute the upper limit that is l by 2 whole cube divided by 3 you can take this 3 outside 3 clear minus minus l by 2 whole cube this is equal to moment of inertia i is equal to m by 3l into l cube divided by 2 cube is 8 minus of minus of l cube is minus l cube divided by 8. So this will be i is equal to m divided by 3l l cube by 8 plus l cube divided by 8 is equal to m by 3l into 2 times l cube divided by 8. Clear. So this is equal to moment of total moment of inertia i is equal to m by 3l into we can cancel this 2 and this 8 4 so l cube divided by 4 you can cancel this l and this will become l square therefore total moment of inertia is equal to m l square divided by 12 this is the moment of inertia about a rod moment of inertia of a rod about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its length. Now, how will you find the radius of gyration? For that, you only have to, if m be the mass of the, m be the mass of the body, mass of the rod, and k is the radius of gyration, then m k square will be the moment of inertia, where k is the radius of gyration but you know mk square we already found out the moment of inertia is equal to m l square divided by 12 cancel this m and m therefore k will be root of l square divided by 12 k is equal to root of l square is l root 12 you can write it as 4 into 3 therefore radius of gyration k is equal to l divided by 2 root 3 clear